if you want to know how to disinfect infected an infected aquarium yes it was infected then this video is for you Hello everyone, this is Paul the Inventory King and I appreciate everyone joining me today. We're going to talk about, and I'm going to show you, not just talk, I'm going to show you. This tank needs to be bleached. Pour bleach in the tank? Because I have a whole group of fish dying here and it is time to bleach it and disinfect it. Did I say pour bleach in this tank? Pour bleach in the tank? Yes, we are going to take the sand and the rocks out. So I turned on the filter to push any excess water out. And I got to tell you, whew, it smells like rotten eggs. Whew. So let's go ahead and take the lids off. Goodbye, lid. Okay, now I'm going to drain the water with a python. And this python is going to remove the water. Yes, remove it. And then we're going to take the sand out and the rocks out and then fill it back up. All right, we got the python set. Now we wait for it to drain. There's two tanks that need work. Now for the hard part, removing the heavy rocks. This is not, this is not easy. Fail. Okay, so first things first, we need to empty the filter and then when this is going to be running with bleach in it, it's going to go through the filter and decontaminate that as well. So we need to empty it. Now we got to just load the trays back in. Nothing in them, just so that bleach water will flow through it. Real easy, that's it. Okay, it's time to fill up the tank. So just gotta come over here and turn these on and go check it out. Okay, now I gotta just come and turn the valve. Just got to get all the air purged out. There we go. So now this sucker is going to fill up and then we're going to put some bleach in there. 
Okay, so now we are at the tank here. We got our bleach. It's been cleaned and filled. So now we need to go ahead and put bleach into the tank, about a cup or so. Then let it go for 10 minutes, then drain it, fill it back up, wipe it down, drain it, fill it, wipe it down. I'm gonna do that about five times or so, and then fill it up and put safe in there, and then just let it go for a while, and then you can start cycling it. And uh, let's get going. Right over here in this corner is where the filter's coming out from the canister down there, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour it over here. So I'm gonna gauge about a cup's worth. It's probably a little much, but better to be safe than sorry. So, 10 minutes. Gonna let this go ahead and filter for about 10 minutes, and then we're gonna go ahead and drain it and do all that stuff. All right, we've been in, uh, doing this for 10 minutes now, so what we do next is we come and open the valve on the tank. Then come flip the switch. Got it drained, got the sponge, got the rest of the tank draining with the python because my uh, pump only goes so far. I designed it to where it'll do like 50% water changes. So we got the rest draining out, so in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and start scrubbing everything in the tank. After you drain the tank and you clean the tank, you fill it up with water and bleach, then you drain it and you scrub it and, and fill it back up and drain it and scrub it and fill it back up and do that about five times, you're about ready to go. And the last step you wanna do is you wanna use safe. Uh, you could use prime, but safe obviously is concentrated and it's gonna go a lot longer. So you're gonna to wanna to put this dechlorinator in there to remove the last bit of bleach that could be in there. So after you do that and everything else is done, use safe and then go from there. Something that I'm gonna get is I'm gonna buy myself a chlorine test kit. I think they have strips and I'm gonna just test it and just to make sure there's no traces left and then once that is confirmed, then I'm gonna go ahead and get the canister filter set back up and then this tank is gonna need to go through the cycle process and be good to go. So I hope everybody was able to learn something from this video. I wanna say thank you to James Largo of the Cichlid Shack uh, he helped me out a lot, giving me pointers and tips on what to do. Also, Deb Tim, a Canadian girl, she also gave me a lot of tips. And so I want to thank them both for that. And uh, I hope, again, this was helpful. Don't be discouraged if you have a tank that is filled with disease. You can clean it and decontaminate it, bleach it, all that good stuff, and you're going to be good to go. So in the comment section down below, let me know what you guys think of the video. Uh, if this is something you've done before, if this is something that you will want to do in the future if you get put in this situation, which hopefully you don't. But again, just wanted to go ahead and uh, show this to you guys. If you could like and comment, that would be absolutely amazing. Thank you very much, everybody.